Um, we are going to see now this uh, example that you see on the on your screen, the rotational system. We would like to um, um, do the bond graph model as well as the block diagram. So let's follow the steps suggested for mechanical systems and then we'll obtain the block diagram. So let me disappear here now. And what we're going to do is we'll say, okay, uh, you know, the first step is for every distinct um, uh, velocity we use a uh, one junction. So I am going to put the one junction for um, the different omega. This is omega 1. This obviously is omega 2. This right here, omega is equal to zero, is the wall, yeah? So, but I'm just going to uh, to write down that also as a reference point that actually um, omega of the wall equals to zero. This would be omega two. And this right here is omega one. Okay, so that's the first step. Second step is attach those elements that see those velocity. So in here you have the um, element um, which is your your torque input in here with value t, source of effort. You also have this I element with the value of the inertia over here. So it's this one and this. On this we have the um, other I element with value j sub 1. And in here I am going to put it as a source of flow with omega of the wall equals to zero. Yeah, for reference. The step number three would be to use zero junctions to um, represent the um, zero junctions to represent the velocity differences. Now, obviously, and here we we need the difference because the difference between this velocity and this one is what this two c. So what I would do is we say, okay, omega one minus omega 2 produce this omega 1 minus omega 2 and these two elements these two elements see the um, see that difference so in here we write it um, the C element and then we write this other one the R element with value b sub 2 and this with value 1 over k sub 2. We do the same thing on the other side. This is why I wanted to have that reference, the wall, because it makes it easier. This is omega 2 minus omega of the wall and in between these two we also have the c and the r element. This is my bond graph model, okay? So, because I am, uh, if I were to do a simulation, I just put this into the CAMG. Mm -hmm. CAMG will assign all the causal marks and everything, and everything would be fine. But because I want to do the block diagram, I need to do that myself, okay? So, in here, the first thing we do is we assign the let me just change colors here to make it more interesting. This is the causal mark. We put the I in integral form. And that makes this one like this. We go to the I and put it in integral form. The flowing to this makes the other two like this. And now you see what happens. You have two flows in here. This one needs an effort like this because zero junction needs one effort. The flow is in here and then makes the other two like this. Um, you put the source of flow like this. That makes it like this and this two force this to be like that and this flowing here 
will force this two to be like this okay next thing I need to do is to put numbers because um, I need to I need to um, to refer to it I am gonna change colors once more and use uh, blue numbers yeah so let's just do one and then you have two and then you have three then we have four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen all right this is a good number of bonds in here because we have this complete like this we are able to create our block diagram from here I am going to um, first of all draw the structure of the block diagram and so what I would do is we say okay in here we need to put the structure which are the the joints in here and and so the the junctions is I'm sorry so in, in here I'm gonna say okay look this is for the I1 is in here um, I'm just gonna go this bond is also like that that corresponds uh, to um, let's see This one over here, see that one? This one over here is, um, hold on for a second. This we need to, we need to do it for that too. So we have we have uh, the this other one too and then we have for the i element up here and then and then you have the other two in here like this and then you have the i element over here and you have the source of effort over here. Do you see I am laying out the the structure in here? Just the bonds. This two here. Um, then you have nothing here but yeah in here is the other two. And then for the C elements, uh, we need to uh, we need to put this one like this, the other two like this for the R element, this one like this, and one like this. See, so I have now the entire structure of the, of my my model, and I I need to. I need to um, I need to relate to the bond graph in here and then keep doing it. So I I am going to do that in in another color so that you can see the the connections. Um, let's just do this in uh, I'll just do it in red and uh, oh, okay. So in here you have the source of flow in here like this. 
do you see how the flow F1 goes like this and E1 goes like this this is SF1 then you you see you have a um, you have a situation with the with this these two bonds and the zero here and the C I think the best thing to do is to go and do the elements first do you see th in this one you have that ESO4 is the is the one um, so this is ESO4 and this is F4 this ESO4 is coming out of the C element and so we do exactly what we um, have done today is is a uh, integral form one over s and then then you have a um, and then if you want you could just write it like this this is one over c so four and then you have it for the r element do you see this is the the value e of so uh, uh, five and then F sub 5 this whole thing is um, multiplied by R this is F sub 5 and out, and out comes this so I could be doing this for each of the elements in here let's just do this um, 1 over C and then you have the gain here which is uh, 1 over C of uh, 10 and then um, you have this in here you have that this is E of 10 and this is F of 10 and I will continue here to the R element on this other side is you have the flow it goes in this is F 11 and then multiplies by this is R and then comes out this and so I have done the R elements I am going to go to the right hand side a little bit more in here to do the SC which is I find it will be easy to do this one we're gonna do SE what is the value number 18 in here and this is E18 and this is F18 and I continue doing it I will do the um, the I element for this this one on the right hand side uh, how do we do this we integrate it by 1 over S and then we have um, gain that is uh, 1 over i 14 and that's the end of that I could go over here to the uh, e sub 7 and this is f sub 7 and this is do you see how the therefore goes in like this gets integrated once and then gets multiplied by 1 over uh, i sub 7 and it comes out like this so we have done the i element we do this one, this one, this one we did the two on the bottom we did on the left I think we did also on the left hand side yes we did so we are ready to put the connections you see so I'm ready to do this this so for the for this connection let's say this one that is right here on the the one that is um, hold on for a second <coughs> the one that is right here all the flows and the efforts are the same so we don't need to add anything other than write down in here that this is 
my um, uh, coming into the junction you have that this is e sub 2 and this is f sub 2 yeah and in here this all the efforts and the flow are the same so this gets connected like this see right there but on the on this one right here that's a whole different deal on this one right here all the efforts are the same so we need we need to be able to to say that um, the one here is um, I on number three do you see the effort is going up like that so this is e sub 3 and this is f sub 3 so how do we connect this all the efforts are the same so this one needs to be it's a zero junction right do you see this one um, this is e sub 6 and f sub 6 like this but you know on the zero junction the flows need to add and how do you do how do they add but the arrows control the way those add so f sub 6 minus f2 is f3 so all we need, need to do here is we need to add this ones over here how do we do it do you see the equation on this system or the way the way it's written here is saying that f sub 3 is equal to f sub 6 minus f sub 2 yeah and and so the um, yeah we're back in here so we were we were over here right right there is where we were so f sub 3 is f sub 1 but in here you see is f sub 6 minus f sub 2 that means that right here this is plus and this is minus and done with that now we are going to go and do this one right here this one do you see in here all the flows are the same so let's connect let's connect one all the flows are the same <laughs> see right here this flow and then this flow all of them are the same but the efforts will have to sum so we draw the summation over here and then you have to see how is the equation of the of of this right in, right in there the the equation the way it's written here says that that e sub 3 is equal to e sub 4 plus e sub 5 so now we have to see in the block diagram that that equation is also fulfilled there but do you see how it, how it is um, in the block diagram is what is the output in the block diagram is e sub 3 is that, is that how my equation is written e sub 3 is e4 plus e sub 5 so if this is that's the way it is so e4 plus e sub 5 both positive and we are done with that and then we have the um, the one over here this one right here all the flows are the same pretty soon you get the hang of this uh, all the flows are the same this one is f sub 8 which is uh, going this way 
and ease of aid this this way. So the efforts will add, but how will they add? They are controlled by the equation, the way the, um, the summation is is done. So in here we we have for this purpose right here we have that e sub 8 minus e sub 6 is equal to e sub 7 and we we have precisely e 7 as the output so e sub 8 is a plus and then e sub 7 now e sub 6 is a minus right here and we are done with that so we, we are going to go now to the zero junction here see we continue doing the same thing on every single one of them all the efforts are the same but the flows will add so in this case in that zero junction you can see that um, E12 is going to the right and E8 is going to the left. So this is E sub 12 and then you have that F sub 12. Yeah. And so look at the look at the equation again. Looking over here, you know that the equation is saying that f sub 9 is equal to f sub 12 minus f sub 8 and if that is the true let's see which which way is the um, is the output over here see this is f 12 is like this and f 9 is like this so I say f 9 is f 12 minus f sub 8 uh, this is plus and minus and we're done with that and do you see pretty soon the same procedure that we did on the left hand side we have to do it on the right but let's just make sure that you know for the one junction that we have in here we have that e, um, e sub 9 is equal to e sub 10 plus e sub 11 and let's see if that um, if that can work over here all the flows are the same so in here I have to put all the flows the same right there but the efforts will add like this and so we have the equation I said E9 is E10 plus E11 this was E11 and this is E sub 9 is going is going up yeah so this two again they are plus both of those or plus and plus and we only have one more left you see how it gets little by little gets completed the one on the right hand side this one right here is a one junction this this one so in here we go and we say all the flows are the same sure do this all the efforts add see it's almost like there was a hole in there that needs to be filled and this is E18 we are almost done in here this is uh, E14 is the one at the top in here this is E14 and then F14 um, you see that F14 is coming out and this is going in like this um. so in here we're gonna say that E14 is equal to E13 minus E12 so how how is that E14 is E13 e minus E12 so this E13 is plus minus E sub um, what did I say it's 18 right not 13 um, I, I wrote it wrongly here this is 18 
18 minus e sub 12 is 18 is 13 13 it says am I correct this is again this is not 18 it's 13 here and so this is e14 is e12 minus e13 and lo and behold we we have basically finished this block diagram in here uh, see if I can make it a little smaller in here so you can you can appreciate it completely um, there you have the block diagram and the bond graph and the system all together so um, th this way you you can see that basically there is a topological correspondence to the physical system when we originated this and there is one also for the block diagram so my recommendation set the structure first do the elements first and then at the last do the connections and then everything will be fine.